We're rich, bitch! Welcome back, my chads and lasses. This is Augsburg. We are going for Fugger banking. banking. I am, of course, Chimo Chills. Let's keep going. So, something I've noticed. I, I'm going to jump in. Let's, let's of course, we'll, first we'll go over Fugger Banking. As Augsburg subsidized three great powers of 20% of their income while having less than 20 provinces. Well, I have 19 provinces. No problem. I jump into my ledger. I look at the economy. Uh, in comparison... Now let's just look at our bottom. So Timurids. Tim. 97 Ducats. Let's look at Portugal, our next one. Portugal is 80. So 97, let's round that up to 100. I only need to subsidize him 20 Ducats. Portugal's is even less. So that's assuming I only need to pour, I only need to subsidize the great power 60 Ducats a turn. I'm making in excess 44 a turn right now with all of my advisors level 3. I could actually get this achievement right now and continue playing the game. My economy is looking so good. With that in mind, obviously you can get this achievement far, far before 1569 if you're paying attention and you're playing well. The only thing, the only but, 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 but all countries excluding Augsburg is a great power. So I don't know if that excludes me because I am on the great power list. The way off it, eventually I won't be on that great power list anymore because I'm not expanding anymore. I, uh, my, my subjects will, but I myself have, have, have stayed put. So that alone could, could pull me off it. Or the other way I get off the great power list is not accept the next institution when it spawns. And that should also push me off. Either or, what we're going to do is we're going to play this episode out. I am going to then test subsidizing the three great powers. And if it works, this is the final episode. No fuss, no muss. Bada bing, bada boom. If it doesn't work, I simply cancel the subsidies. And we play this campaign on as long as we have to. No problem. Now, I was looking to grab Manchua as an ally down here. And maybe feed him all of Venice. He will become my vassal. If I, if I just take the time, if I just invest in him. So I'm going to invest in him as a as a subject, as a buddy, and a best friend. Let's so we'll marry you up. We're still 50 away. No problem. I got Influence Nation coming right there. And then finally, we just send some Ducats his way. Two or three, even better. Now he will accept that right here. The other thing I want to do, I want to go ahead. You see, Hungary is getting smacked on by the Commonwealth. I'm hoping Hungary will call me into this war if I ally them. I don't have to do this. I just don't want the Commonwealth to take Hungary. I would rather have a nice, strong Hungary as an ally if possible. So here's what I'm going to do we're going to Royal Mary them. They will ally me. I am going to go ahead and ally them. And I'm going to break my alliance with Styria. I'm going to just keep Styria for a little bit. Allow myself to stay over my limit for a tiny bit. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm going to get called in. So I'm going to stop training all of the boys. I am hoping. I like This is what I want. I want them to call me into this war. As soon as I, as soon as I ally them up. So it'll be 6th of next, year, uh, next month. Face Bastion, morale of armies. No, we don't really care about that. Not too important. I'm going to take this at min tech. Mainly because I want this idea group. And what are we going with? You know it, trade. If I couldn't afford to do it already, I will be able to afford to do it after I'm done with the trade idea group. It is going to be huge. We're going to also focus on Diplo. My heir, I don't know how long he's going to be. My king's 60. He shouldn't live too much longer. My heir's got 6 in the Diplo point, so... We are going to fly through this idea group, which is going to be wonderful. Okay, so we're still currying favors with Zit Otto Man. Hungry, do it! No, he peaced out! <laughs> Hungry, why? Just as I allied you up, you peace out. What a disappointment you are, Hungry. What a disappointment. Hmm. I don't know, is it even worth keeping Hungry? 
I guess they're bigger than Styria. Yeah, they're bigger than Styria. I can I can ditch Styria as an ally. Mm -hmm. Now, I would still like to get to war with Austria, or at least one of my rivals. The reason is my power projection. It's ticking down, and I don't want it to be below 50. I would lose that one monarch point of admin, diplo, military. We don't want this. We've got to keep ourselves... What? Austria? My ally wants me to come... Austria is my ally? What? Austria is my ally. How is Austria my ally? So Naples is firing on the Catholic League. But you aren't you aren't my ally. I don't get this. What is going on? The nation of Austria, your faithful allies requesting you come to their aid. Can anyone explain this? I did not join. Um, anyone in the comments who can explain this? I did not join either of these leagues. I am definitely not allied. Let me let me just show you so I can... I mean, I've been beating on Austria. Look. Allied with Wallachia and Halt, Moravia, Thuringia, and Hainaut. I don't have any guarantees. That is bizarre that Austria would be able to call me into the league war. Well, obviously I'm declining. And that does mean that the League War has fired. So that, that allows me to jump in against whoever I want far easier. And I think, wow, the Catholics got a pretty strong side. Good luck, Protestants. Good luck, boys. I'll do what I can to jump in. Me attacking Austria will help. But unless I can attack one of his allies, I won't be able to attack him directly. We got a 12-year truce there. Okay, so how do we do this then? Hungary's in this war... We attacked anyone in the HRE, he would defend. No, he won't. Yes, because if I attack someone he's already at war with, obviously he can't defend. So it would have to be like a Catholic nation. Like Würzburg. And then he would defend him. So that would be my way to get to war with Austria. But it's a no CB. Okay, so let's look around for a Catholic nation intact near me. Venice is no good. The Palatinate? Yes, the Palatinate. Okay, that's my way in. So we're going to start building a spy network right away on you, friend. We'll go right back to training everyone else. You, you, you. How is our force limit? We're two under. That's okay with me. Base Bastion. Yeah, why not? Let's get one, two, more cannons. We'll keep ourselves right at that force limit. I want to mock speed 5 this too. <laughs> That's so bizarre. I don't know how I got called into that uh, league war. It doesn't really make any sense to me. Now, I don't think I want to allow... I don't want to accept his royal marriage. I want to royal marry him. I, I, if I remember right, it makes a difference in the way you inherit it. You're more likely to inherit them. and I, I could be wrong on that. Or maybe that's of trying to put your throne... Your dynasty on their throne. Ah, that's what it is. When you're trying to put your dynasty on their throne, you want to make sure you're the one sending the, the royal marriage offer. Okay, that's what it is. Let's keep going. All right, our Diplo friend. Let's top up with one. Viva la France! The guns. I would love a royal marry with you. Oh, I forgot all about... I forgot my buddy. Forget about Manchua! Manchua! No! Great power. So my, my gift wore off. They'll just send another gift. No, oh, did not wear off. Why am I only at 80? What's the deal here? What is the deal? Transfer trade power? That should give me the 10. Yes! Yes! But you'll be my vassal! The economic base change! What just changed, Manchua? Come on! Come on, man, you uh, quick cock clock me, cock blocking me here. No friggin' way. Ah, with the royal marriage, that does it. That does it. That was what pushed me over the edge. Perigia could be a subject of Augsburg. Where is Perigia? Well, I don't really care. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take that one. Memmingen tax five. 
Memmingen production 22. Where are you, Memmingen? Uh, hmm. Oh, you're all. Look at this. Look at this. All production. Tax is the way to go. We'll go with the tax. Okay, so the pastors. Yes, please. Memmingen. Encourage Dev. One, two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Personal union on Monarch Death. Don't die. King Bernard de Valois, 19 years old. Do not die. You must live a long, happy, fruitful uh, they're all life, not not one short and uh, cut oh so sweet, or cut oh so short. I mean, we can spend ten more with France. We've almost pinned them at a hundred. Bohemia, <laughs> I think we got to improve relations with you. Let's royal marry you. Yeah, Manchua, get that vassal before I forget again. With all the royal marriages out there, come on, you do your thing, man. Do your thing. Make some babies. Some babies. A little bit of trade range, envoy travel time. I don't know. What are you going to say? Thank you for the happy pop up. It's not so happy that I'm going to thank RN Jesus, but it's, it's good enough that I am thankful. We can go ahead and grab one more cannon in, in each of my other two armies. Where are we here? One and two. Four seems like a nice. Round number, I guess. So we went from last episode, crossing my fingers of inheriting France through a peaceful means. That didn't happen. Now this episode, we are um, at risk of being inherited. We don't want that. Bologna, I'm not interested in. No, it's just getting to war with Austria. That's all I really want to do. Or get to war with Spain. So I can humiliate them. Genoa wouldn't join. The direct route is the problem. If I do it indirectly against, like, Venice, get the Ottomans and Bohemia in on that. Ottoman, how are you feeling? All right, we'll go back to just maximizing with the Ottoman. I, I've been incurring favors with them for as long as I can remember. I think it's a good place to have my diplomat. And we're just waiting and jumping back in. Look at this. An heir to the throne. A 6-3-3. 12 total points. That's about as good as you can hope for. Um, not playing as a republic. Which, by the way... <clears throat> excuse me. Which, by the way, is the other way to play this campaign. Is when you switch over, instead of going monarchy and hoping for some personal unions, is um, you go republic and you farm those maximum points to just dev up. Either way is a very viable both work. As you can see, like I could be, I could get this achievement right now. It might be the fact that I'm too big, that I'm that I'm a great power that's actually holding me back. Boo hoo! But all the same, we have a wonderful heir, and we're not going to get inherited. I am not pitching you out, no, sir. Enrique de Valois, your German first name, French last name. This sounds fitting to rule our empire. Though I don't think we have any French subjects anywhere in our empire, but somehow it is fitting. Trust me on that. We're still waiting on our ability to attack the Palatinate. It's closer. 0.44 a month. At least at least he hasn't seen me. And the fact that I'm not in the HRE is I only have to get it up to 20. We're only so many months away. Let's get these boys to stop training one at a time. And then next month it'll be you and you as well. You up there in the north. All right, another idea group. Trade range, 25%. I don't know if that's actually going to make a difference. Let's just see. We're 29.9. 29.8. It dropped by 0.1. So apparently trade range isn't helping me at the moment. But let's not overthink such things. Let's move forward. So the, Ottom the Ottoman are calling me into a war. Ottoman, I want to make an offensive war. Do two base production in Intel. That's my gold line. Gold mine. And I don't have enough to, to dev it up anymore. So, all right, uh, no choice. Just excellent. Thank you for the uh, bonus production. Um. So the hungry doesn't seem to be answering this call. 
I will keep I will keep Ottoman as an ally for the time being at least and uh, we will answer that call. I still am planning on declaring on Austria right here as soon as I can. Let's go. Austria has not been pummeled thoroughly enough for my liking. It needs clearly more. More pummeling. Get you right on the border with the Palatinats. One more month. Come on. 19.84. Can you imagine they got caught in that one month? That one month. That would make me a sad, sad panda. Now, if I was to take any of this land... There's iron up here. And it's a grasslands. I would probably take the iron in the grasslands. So that's where, we're, where we will make her claim. I won't be taking it, but... Doo -doo -doo. Let's let the day pass. No, Austria won't defend them! No, I want to attack Austria. This is all about attacking Austria. That was the whole point of this. Hmm. That is a little bit annoying. I'm less tempted to attack Venice this way. Oh, if I co-belligerent Spain. But that brings in all those boys. Sile, no, that doesn't help me. The Knights, the Knights! That's the trick! I co-belligerent the Knights, and... What? If I call in the Ottoman, France will fight me. If I don't call in the Ottoman, France will join me? Am I missing something here? Now, I declare all this. Ottoman should answer my call. I, I really feel like the Ottoman will answer my call. I'm going to just go ahead and declare this. This is a far more even of a fight, but I got to do something for the episode. I can't just be in peace for the whole episode and then see if I can pay my way out of the achievement. That is yawn boring. We're not even going to do that. We're not even considering that option. Let's say that. It'll be to Sile. It'll be down to Paradiso. This 25, you can be... Over here to Bosnia. Oh, that's a different war. Is there any other forts? Ferrara. Here we are to Ferrara. Ottoman, come on, join my war. Join my war. It's a, it's a great time. You'll have so much fun, Ottoman. I promise you. Hmm. Kind of, um... Hoping you join my war, Ottoman. I can knowledge share with you. 16 Ducats. No, I don't want to make you stronger. Can trade for trust. But then I have to wait till it creeps back up to 10. Alright, I have no choice. Looks like we are fighting this war as is for now. and um, It's going to be a more even war. More even fight than I want. Especially if the Ottoman never join in. It'll... Uh, it could actually be an even slugfest, but if this ends up being the last episode, I guess that's fitting. For my non-fighting campaign of Augsburg. Okay, all those boys will join. Actually, if we finish that war, we're at 100%. When they leave this war, they should want to answer the call then. Yeah, they'll feel it. Come on, Ottoman, finish up your war already. What are you even holding out for? What is the point of this? There's the victory. Uh, maybe beginning of next month, they will... Do the next one. Next piece on out. Okay, here to Sile. We'll get to Treviso. And that's it. That's it. They pieced out. They will answer my call. This is what we're talking about. With the Ottoman on board. At two to one numbers. Much better. <laughs> this this is how I like to fight my fights. Two to one. There, there should be twice as many of us as there is of you. We'll leave that just as a little sieging army. Look at you go, Venice. You, you do have a... Um, a relevant, a relevant army. Like, that's... You can't ignore that. That's a big, beefy, strong army. Uh, what is popping up? Faith Bastion. Well, if we're, if we're seriously... Like, if there's any chance we're down... I don't think we are down to the last episodes. I'm not going to fire Faith Bastion. I think because I have a great power, that's what's going to hold me from finishing this achievement. Whatever. We will uh, we'll play it out for another 50 years if we have to. Till we'll... Till we'll at that point, we shouldn't be a great power. The, uh, the other countries will have had enough time to catch up. And and then we'll just subsidize all the neighbors. And, and deb the crap out of our whole country, etc. Etc, etc. You should be hiding, friend. You are a, a friggin... 
a light ship fleet. You shouldn't be out there picking fights with Spain, who, like, master of the seas, Spain. That is not a, a good idea, sir. Rethink your, um, rethink yourself. Check yourself. Grab 2,000 from these boys. Get you down to Ravina. Verona. Venice will be pretty thoroughly thumped earlier. I don't actually have to completely siege down Spain. The reason I'd want to would be to get that aggressive expansion. Correction, to get that power projection. Get myself back over 50. Because it's, creep, it's crept back under 40, uh, 50. The magic number where you want it. You want it at 50. It's below that. It's just breaking my heart to see. Hmm. Alright, what do we have? Innovative gain or 50 admin points. Wow, we are so close to 100. I'm just going to let that tick up on its own. I'm going to take the 50 admin points. Thank you much, sir. I like your 50 admin points. Okay, 25 just hanging out. You should not be hanging out. It's time to go say hi to the Spanish. France, you are not defending your border for some reason, buds. You should be way over here defending that border. Now we have 50,000 heading that way, so we are, we're going to go do a show of force. France, you're not topped up. Bohemia, let's get you maxed. Ottoman, you love us a lot. When in doubt, spend that trust because he answered the call. Ottoman, right to the very end, buddy. Right to the very end, Ottoman. It would be fitting if I can, if I can subsidize. If I get so rich, I can even afford to subsidize the mighty Ottoman. That will be a, a goal for this. So, Sile, you offer me cash with no aggressive expansion. Go in peace. Let's get you up there. We have one army on there. There's a woods. There's a reason to, to rush over and attack them. The only problem is they're already at 42%. I won't have my numbers over there in time. So, you, you will get that Fort Spain, but... It will be a short-lived victory for you and, and one of the few ones you'll get in this war. I promise you that. Soon. I think that's the noise of a culture converted. Genoa? Yay! Become a Schwabian. Life is good. Now this. Burn is a hills. I definitely would need to take that fight in the hills. I want that bonus. What I'm going to do here is allow them to attach. Hopefully they come over here and join up with me. At the same time... Oh, I already have the uh, the hole in the walls. All right, so be it. We're not going to do anything else with that. Oh, one siege, two sieges. I need 6,000 to siege you down and 6,000. The question is how many armies... Venice still has an army, but not a massive army. We're at 42% Ferrara. I'll just wait it out. This will be one or two monthly ticks. Yes, yes, for once. For once, I'm watching it, talking about it, and it actually happens as I'm saying is it should occur. We can get over here to Lombard, jump onto that fort so he's not reinforcing it while my other army runs on over. Bohemia is not maxed out. I'll go ahead and... Oh, we're already improving relations with you. France loves us. I guess Manchua, our latest subject nation, when in doubt, make your subjects love you a bit more. So right away, I'm going to blow the hole in the wall. I'm tempted to just charge the walls down. That's Traviso. Unless they're going to actually let me get onto that island, which if you do, you're a fool. You're a fool if you let me get onto Venice. That'd be a good country to, um, a good province to trade for. I could trade like Navarro, which is only twelve development. It's a it's a farmland, but take Venice instead, which is also what is it? Coastline, center of trade, thirty four development, reform progress growth, yearly prestige, reform progress growth. That's pretty useless. Reform progress growth. I don't actually care about that. All right, maybe Venice is a, a lower priority after all. Yes, I'm coming, friends. I'm coming. I see you. I'm coming. Oh, it's great. <laughs> 90,000 against their piddly 30. Get out of here. 
miss me with that nonsense. Just at the same time as the uh, the fort falls. So we can come charging on in. Let's say a Girona. We can get to Barcelona. And on to the Perennials. Okay, you got Barcelona, France. It's all yours, bud. Barcelona is all yours. I do want to jump onto this mountain fort. Yes, please. Got it. And apparently he moved off of Barcelona. France, you literally raced me to get it. I move off it, and then you're going to move again. Make up your mind, son. And our next trade... Like I said, we're going to fly through this trade idea group. It's, it's going to go so fast that... Who's complaining? Now, 10%. This should do a bonus. We're making 31.9. Let's say 32. And drum roll. 33.7. Almost 34. So, let's say two Ducat bonus a month. Thank you much. Okay. So, we've gotten over there. I just want to leave this army here in case I can get onto Venice at some point. And I have one army back in my home territory, too. I'm not, I'm not completely all in. They'll siege down, um, what is this, Sicily for me, and they're giving it to me too. Ottoman, you're a great buds, Ottoman. Great bud indeed. Okay, so we can get a tech ahead of time. It would give us six innovativeness, almost pinning us at a beautiful 100 even. We'll get the better tech, or correction, we'll get the better unit, but we are... Many, many years ahead of time. Well, that should show me. What is it? Seven years ahead of time? Ah, whatever. What do I care at this point? Give me better units. Yes. Uh, charge is offensive. And you are more of a balance. You know what? They still have offensive. I'm going to go with the Mercer. I like that balance. Perfectly balancing all things. No, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> Why did I do this? Get in there, boys! I don't know if with even with the reinforcements enough. Yes, yes, save the day. Ah, uh, that was um that was a whoopsie daisy on my part. An absolute whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Purchase another ability, we don't care. Well, if we're this close to the end of the campaign, there's no point to not fire the golden age. <laughs> I I literally think I'm gonna be able to finish this. Ooh, no, get on. I won't be able to run around. It's coming. I could be the first to take this admin group. I would rather spend this devving up. This is what we're going to do. We're going to jump over here to Milano. We're going to go encourage dev. And I'm going to spend... It's 10? 10, 10 to dev it up one time? For real? That is friggin' awesome. Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay, so I'm... Why I'm starting with the military is because I don't have as nearly as many points as I do with the admin. I have a pile of admin points. So I'm going to spend a couple of these. Allowing me to spend a lot of those. Beautiful. Up to 19. And I can still spend one more. You, can, you can't go more than the combined totals of your other two. So I have 20. So I, wouldn't be able, I would only be able to dev this one more time. Even if I had 85. But that actually worked out perfectly. It's... As if I plan this all. And I'm going heavy dev on Milan because we have a local tax bonus already of plus 50% just for this one province. And uh, once I dev it up one more time, 75%. None of the other church power we don't care about. Pastor's loyalty is okay. It's an alright wonder. It's not my number one priority. This is the number one priority. Getting this to a level 3 for that advisor cost minus 20%. Massive, massive. Spend some manpower getting that going. We're one year away from having that wonder done. And we did end up losing that battle. Well, good show, boys. Good show. France, where the heck are you, dude? <laughs> like, seriously, where are you? This 25 will run you up to the front line. Uh, you are missing a general. We'll fix that. And when we can... You see that all power cost modifier across the board is minus 10%. So even getting our generals instead of 50, it's 40 for us. Nice and cheap. One, two. 
There you come. There's France. Like, wh wh what's going on over here that you couldn't have stick stuck by my side? I literally begin the invasion of East Spain, and France decides to go for a jog somewhere else, right in the middle of the invasion. Nothing was more important. Wake up already. I want to make sure I have claims on you. Okay, we do. So if I attack them, I would get drawn into the, the Holy War by the looks of it? I don't know. That's what it seems. And Austria is, look, is winning the, um, the League War. I don't want to be part of their Holy War. Miguel, you to Barcelona. We'll begin the process of pushing them back again. All right, France led the way. I like that. Girona we have. Two over here to Terraganano. An absent merchant, minus 10%, or we just spend Diplo points. I don't want to spend those Diplo points. I'll lose a bit of Ducats if I have to. So be it, sir. And you'll get right onto the perennials. Wipe. That's what we're talking about. Wipes on the Spanish. Don't mess. Now that I got the French here. <laughs> and he turned it right away again. Where are you going, France? There is nothing that important over that way that you got to leave me right in the middle of this. Literally nothing. Sure, I say. Sure. All right, I can build five more boats. Let's get on that. Let's get one heavy. One, two, three, four. Nice roundabout route. I'll actually have you running home, and then you're just going to go train. It might be the last episode. It might not be the last episode. We want that professionalism through the roof. We will never we will never rest on our army professionalism. At this point, 160 Ducats is, is a drop in the bucket that I don't even care to read what the fine print of that is. Just pay the money and get out of my office. Get out of my sight. I think the uh, the Mox B5 is in order. Mountain Fort of Nevada. Oh, and a battle taking place right... What the... What is this nonsense? Let me run straight onto the battle. Zone of control. Harumph, I say. Harumph. Well, I'll run you around. Now that I know that I'm not going to get stomped on or attacked by surprise in that mountain province. I'm get back. He's on my capital. He's on Ulm. Venice, how do you even have this many troops left? How do you even have this many troops at all? I don't understand. What is happening? Well, it looks like we were useful in that battle. It may not have been such a one-sided affair. Until I arrived, of course. Then, then, totally one-sided affair. We got here in time to save Alm. Whether we're actually... Nice 6 4 one, one general. Hey... France has no, or a correction, Venice has no morale, being that their whole country is occupied down. Where are you going? Where are you going? Do you actually have plots to retreat to? Or is he just running all the way to Venice? I would be happy if I could trap him in Venice. And then at least that army can't jump out and try to siege down my capital again. Well, nobody got time for that nonsense. Moving to Toledo. I don't know. Keep my armies close together. Yes, sir. Everyone can have access. Everyone who wants access through my lands is welcome through it. I'm not maxed with you guys. Favors with the Ottoman. Yeah, and that's what happened. So they got trapped back on Venice now. Look at this 50 stack. The Spaniards, the Spaniards are still rocking a 50 stack. It's the only reason I'm not charging forward to Malaga. Malaga, that, that mountain fort. They will attack me in that mountain fort. I don't want to give them that opportunity. I just noticed we have 5,000 Ducats. I am going for the strongest wonder that I currently have. One of the stronger ones in the game. Minus 20% advisor cost. You can't, you can't oversell that. Peeking out all your advisors at 5 for the rest of the campaign is just generating mana. Okay, let's take our next step. What are you doing? Go attack him. You know where he is. <laughs> He's in the south. Just go punch him. France, go punch him in the face. He's saying bad things about you. He's making fun of your cheese, France. Go punch him. Back to Granada. And I'm just going to have to have the, the 50 stacks sitting side by side guarding one another. 
guarding one another in Granada in case he, he, he wants to make a move. He acts a fool and wants to make a move. That's another trade idea group for another merchant. Um, I have 11 Ducats there. 18, 5, 15. That's where we're collecting from. We have no trade power in Venice. I like, I like down here in Alexandria. Let's transfer the trade power from Alexandria. And we're at 43.4. 44.3. I like it. Every little bit helps. And that's that's a monthly income. Keep it coming, boys. So France is pummeling the uh, the Spanish fleet. I gotta jump out, get in on that, and retreat back to Rome just in case. Like the rest of the Spanish fleet's on the way, and I don't see them. They are coming to smack me away. Like you call that a fleet? Whatever. I was proud of my fleet. I thought my fleet was nice. This other half of the army is gonna run home to Ulm, and we're uh, just gonna chill. Just gonna chill. I don't want to lose manpower. I don't need them just taking attrition in enemy territory. We're already dealing with the one fort. No, we lost that battle. What did I say? What did I say about wanting to just jump into the battle and retreat in case the mega stacks were still out there? And that's exactly what happened. The enemy mega stacks were still out there. No. Fate, why do you mock me so? Um, I'll just watch. Watch and wait for the French to, to make their move. I see there's 60,000. Why you're sitting on a dry land instead of a mountain fort where you're defended? No idea. Don't care at this point. You stay where you are. You do you. I'll mock speed 5 them out. Do, do, do. He, he's actually moving from plot to plot. The AI brain is basically broken at this point. He knows he's lost, I guess. He knows he's lost, so he's just trying to keep his army together. We're making more trade than tax for the first time of this campaign, and we will take the trade efficiency bonus. Yes, sir. That's the trade idea group. It immediately jumped us up. As much as I would love to attack this 70,000, not quite there yet. Not until I have my other half the army. Mm -hmm. Take the army tradition. What are we looking at? 73 army tradition. Not bad. Considering we're a peaceful, a peaceful country, that's a lot of army tradition. Now, one of the things I was considering doing was grabbing... Oh, those Aragon cores disappeared. Oh. Aragon had cores on these, but they disappeared. I was going to grab some of them. So that reduces my options. I could do Sicily. But then I'm not up here in... The reason I liked Aragon and releasing it from here is that I am collecting trade from Genoa. So it would be great to have a subject nation that had a bunch of land here. It still wouldn't be bad. I can still give Aragon land over here. If the campaign drags on that long, that is exactly what I'm going to do. How do I want to do this first, though? I don't believe it matters going over my province limit. So I could just grab this province and then release them. And then I could drop Hungary as an ally. Because they are my weakest ally. Or just sit over my uh, my ally limit, but Manchu is still small. I could just ditch them as a vassal. That's the other option. I'm, I'm going over all my options here. Why I like Manchu is because I can grow him all over Venice. You know what? I don't have to make the call now. I can just take the province and I can give it away or just release it later, whatever. Yeah, that's exactly what I can do. Right, so is that army still kicking? Let's go fight them. Let's go. If France isn't going to go do it, I'll go do it. There's 10,000. He was nice enough to divide up for me. I appreciate that. Boom, one wipe. Let's get him to 11. Oh, that was very convenient of you to break up like this. Not, not that I wouldn't have won the fights beforehand, but they wouldn't have been wipes like that, right? You can just carry on straight home to the homeland. You are training. Nope, no leader. You are training. Still can't get Venice proper. 
And we're letting this fight occur. Yes, I want the wipe. No, they're going to survive. They're going to retreat one plot. And they're, I think they're retreating... Oh, they're, they're going to go fight um, Castilian Spain's rebels for them. While their army retreats south. I do want to go finish that army off. I don't want Spain to have a standing army. Not, not in Europe, at least. If you have one in the New World, I'm okay with that. <sighs> Royal marriage from Hungary. No, I'll give you the royal marriage, Hungary. You're not going to royal marry me. I royal marry you. And then on to Spain. So first, only 68% war score. How is that possible? How is, look at, look at, look at how much we have siege down. We have all of Sicily. There's no forts over here. How can we only have 68% war score on you? Madness. Shenanigans. I declare shenanigans. I don't even know what to say to that, other than I'm going to go sit on your capital and extract cash from you. Now I just got trade steering bonus, so we're at 47 now. 49, even better. The last bonus is one more caravan power and a bonus merchant on top. I like bonuses. Give me more of those, please. Right back into Spain. We're at 69. Nice. Nice. We want to humiliate you. We want the war reps. Let's just confirm. I think I can release Aragon from any of these. I don't think it matters that Majorca has a as a cores there. I believe I can release Aragon. So I could take from Spain, like, one, two, three. Yeah, I like it. We'll just take that, and then I'll return all the cores the next war, if the war is even necessary. 466 Ducats. Thank you much, Spain. I appreciate that. Now, it should show me that I'm over for this. Yeah, currently 22. So I got to get myself back under. We'll be right on that. Mm-hmm. Let's peace out Venice. And the power projection up to 78 from the, uh, of course, humiliate rival. Now, who is our other rival? We have Spain, GB, and Austria. We did not get to war. I was trying to get to war with Austria. I tried so hard, but I could not get against them this episode. Not like I wanted. I still could attack the Palatinate. And it doesn't look like I would get drawn into the League War. Oh, the League War ended. The Catholics won. The Catholics, without me, without me there, the Catholics weren't able to do it. They needed me there. I'm sorry, Catholics. Or, correction, <laughs> I'm sorry, Protestants. My bad. I kind of let you down. Now with Venice, we just grabbed Manchua. So you'll go to Manchua, you'll go to Manchua. Literally all of you would go to Manchua. Let's give Manchua coastline and Ferrara and Travino. Spain has a truce. Venice has a truce. Austria has a truce. For another three years. It does, it does stick Austria into permanent uh, coalition mode. But the other countries by then should creep down enough. I'm, I'm tempted to do this. This is very aggressive. It makes a nice, chonky Manchua. I was literally just humming and hawing about releasing Manchua in case I didn't want them anymore. You do not need to be allied with Spain. I don't care about the knights. You go in peace. You can start marching. Oh, form Swabia. Oh, I can form Swabia. No, I can't get the achievement of my form Swabia. That's fun, though. I like that. You are training. You are training. Let's come north. Look at Manchua. I love how big Manchua is now. Manchua, you are the right faith, but you you don't have the you're the right faith, but you don't have a Devalois on the throne. Let's correct that problem. That ensures loyalty forever, in perpetuity, uh, in perpetuity, in perpetuity, in perpetuity, forever. <laughs> that ensures loyalty forever. That is the word I meant to use the whole time. Forever and ever and ever. Now, I don't want to core these guys up. 
what I want to do is create my newest vassal, Aragon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should stick me back under. Currently 19, so we're good on the cities again. Aragon, you have you have lost your way. We'll make you Protestant. We'll stick a Devalwa on the throne. And and if this campaign carries on, you know we're fighting Spain again. Yes, and we're going to grow a nice, chonky Aragon. I'll probably even give Aragon some lands over here because I can't take it for myself, so why not give it to uh, one of my subject nations? Now, here is the... Here's where we find out. Great power list, Timmy's. When I was looking before, the Commonwealth didn't make very much. And the Timmy's and Portugal. So those are the three we'll look at. We'll look at Commonwealth, Portugal, and Timmy's. Do -do -do, a ledger. All right, I already got Portugal up here. Portugal's making 105. Commonwealth is making 101. Timurids making 120. 200. So if I give them all 25 Ducats in each, that would cover them all. Who else is there? Um, Timmy, Common, Portugal, Great Britain. Great Britain's at 100. Yeah, they're, they're all 20. So I give them 25 each, and we're good. We can carry that. Let's find out right here. <laughs> so who did I say on this list? Timurids first. Timurids. Bear with me. <laughs> I don't know. This can't be campaign end right here. I, it's, it's like almost anticlimactic, but we're going to find out in one quick second. So I jump up. I'm going to say 27 Ducats a turn. Yep. Subsidize that up. Now did that change? Nothing changed. Okay. Whatever. I'm going to get them all done this month anyways. Um, then we'll come up here to Portugal. We're going to give subsidies. You can be... Let's say 25. Okay. Let's get our diplomat home. The monthly tick will occur. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Now did it change? No. No, it's not sure showing I'm subsidizing either of them enough. Now, is it just because I am not a great power myself? And then finally, the Commonwealth. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to take a peek here. Let's see. I'm going to go way over just to make sure that it wasn't that I didn't... That I'm not un, under-subsidizing them. So I, I'm going to go up to like 30 here. Or 35. Whatever. Going way over. So there's, there's no way that I'm not subsidizing them enough. I should have one one acknowledged in here. Oh! Currently one. So I didn't subsidize the other two enough? Is that what's happening? I don't know how to count? Okay, well, let's, let's do it again. Cancel the... <laughs> yeah, cancel... Jump over here to the uh, Timmy's. Cancel. Wait one month. Maybe, maybe this is campaign end. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is. I, I should have known, but remember this. This achievement was broken until only like a month or two ago. So you gotta bear with me if I didn't know exactly what I was doing. So give subsidies. We're gonna make it 34. I don't care. I just want this achievement done. <laughs> you give subsidies 40. Because apparently I don't know how to do math. Hey! What? So it shows all check marks. Is Augsburg. I have less than 20 cities. I'm doing the subsidies. But because I am a great power. That's what's stopping me. Okay. Hey, we. I, I thought that might be the case. That's fine. That's why I just grabbed Aragon. Going forward, we're, we, we still have something to do. We still have lots to do. Come back next time. Comment, like, all that great stuff. Now you know you can get this achievement far earlier. Probably closer to the 1500s. If you if you go this far and you make it a great project, you're going to have to play it through to the 1600s right to the end with me. 
Come back next time. Let's do it together. Until then, have yourself a great day. Goodbye.